hi besties welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by thank you for subscribing thank you for sticking with your girl if you're an old subscriber thank you for sticking with me up until now today's video this is a live update and um i will be telling you guys the things i have seen or gone through while living in czech republic so uh, I've been living here for eight months now and life has been good. God has been so kind to me. God has been loving and favorable. I know we all have this mindset that uh, when we get here, you get a job ASAP. Oh my God, you have multiple jobs, doing two jobs and all that. See, let me tell you, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Before you get all head over yourself, let me tell you slow down i'm going to put you guys on on some of the things i had gone through before getting a job life didn't seem like what i thought it was going to be like because i thought moving down here i was going to get a job asap and all that I'd already started applying from hungary down here to see if i can get a job and i didn't get anything so when i got here i applied to multiple jobs did some interviews and never got some response well, some of them take a while to respond back and all I kept hearing was we are sorry, we are sorry, we are sorry, we are sorry <laughs> and we are sorry even go to the point where the we are sorry I was so bothered with the we are sorry immediately I see that we are sorry, I'm deleting your email I don't even read through it to know why and whatever some of them don't actually tell you why they didn't pick you but some will and uh, I don't even get to read it, I just delete and so when i got here i had prayed to god right to give me a job that i would be at ease with a job that wouldn't stress me a job that i would be comfortable working with yeah and trust me you know when you make that prayer when you pray this one prayer this one prayer lord let your will be done see be ready for whatever comes with it you see that prayer don't sleep on it because the minute you pray that prayer trust me you would wait the lord will make you wait for what is yours god will literally make you wait you would understand the virtue of patience why it is important why they always say patience is a virtue you would learn that one thing and i had to learn it this way because i said i wasn't going to do minimal jobs like working in kfc and all that because i had done those jobs in hungary and they weren't the best for me so when i go here i said i wasn't going to do that i had prayed i kept praying this prayer that lord i will not do this thing i would not work in kfc i would not work in burger king i would not work as a i had to wait on the lord to give me what was mine mind you i had even applied to this job like kfc going to kfc burger king and whatnot and they rejected me mm -hmm. yeah they rejected me a lot of times they rejected me and i was like okay i don't know what's happening but i wasn't even getting the kfc job i wasn't getting the cleaning job i wasn't getting anything because you know that saying do what you can do when you get here I'll tell you guys something see learn this yeah learn from me when you get a job and they told you oh congratulations we've given you this job don't ask questions like what are the schedules can i do it while in school and stuff do not ask those questions i asked the hr about the scheduling and i realized that the schedule was clashing with my classes a lot when i asked that this this lady did not reply me for almost one week yeah you know what that means right one week and i kept reaching her i kept sending emails i was apologizing i even went on linkedin like we're already following each other on linkedin so she reached out to me about this job offer i had already applied to that company before and didn't get a job so she reached out to me this time around telling me that oh there's a job and i should apply for it so when i asked that question she immediately stopped responding i was apologizing i went to linkedin i apologized and apologized but however 
I went to the tour stage and they still didn't pick me. After a while, she replied and I said, oh, she was sorry for not replying me that I didn't do anything wrong. And I had to go to the office to do like a one-on-one -on -one interview with the managers, which was good. I had thought I killed it. I was going to get this job. I was going to start fooling a week. But lo and behold, I said, oh no, your, your interview was great. You had great communication, blah, blah, blah. But we want to give it to someone else. That was when I realized that they had already picked people already before my interview. So after that, I kept praying all through that seven months. Trust me, I was praying. Bless my pastor, Pastor Lainka Ojo. You guys see the way that man prays for his people. Yeah, the way he prays. I think there's anything that would make God not answer your prayers. If you get to Czech Republic, make sure you attend RCC Jirel Boat because if you don't, you're sleeping on yourself. Trust me, you would meet amazing people. The service there is amazing. We are a family in that church. And that is how we've been striving. Nobody lacks in that church. And God bless my pastor for it. He has been an amazing source of divine intervention for everybody. Him and his wife. And honestly, God, God is in that church. So make sure you attend Real Boats when you get here. So fast forward, after that, I was depressed for months. All through the seven months I was here, I was depressed. I was having severe anxiety. I was having sleepless nights. But no one knew, right? The only person that knew was my roommate because we were both in the same room. And she would always try to motivate me, which was a good thing. But no one knew that I was struggling. This I couldn't even hang out with my friends because... I was not in that space, but they didn't know I was struggling with this. They all thought, oh, maybe I didn't want to hang out and stuff. But the thing is, I was struggling. I needed a job. I was running out on cash already. I didn't know how I was going to start paying my bills. And I had to learn how to wait. Isaiah 40 verse 31, for those who wait on the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. You guys, that was my scripture all through. I kept waiting for God. I was patient. I was happy for people to get here. Try as much as you can to socialize. And you can't wait throughout these seven months, right? A friend of mine from Nigeria who I was already telling, oh, this is how it is. Then I have been applying. I was even giving him scope on where and how to apply to. And he got a job before me. <laughs> he got a job before me. See, I was the happiest person for him. One thing about me, I don't envy, neither do I get jealous of anything. I was the happiest for him. When things like this start happening around you, you start asking yourself, God, what am I doing wrong, right? At some point, I sat down and I said, what am I doing wrong? Am I not applying right or whatever? But I didn't think about, oh, I need to hate on this person or this person got this job before me and what, 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 what. No. I was thankful to God for him. I was so happy. This is someone who just came and was here for three months. And then he got a job. Meanwhile, I was here before him and I didn't even get anything. So trust me, it wasn't an easy time, but I was still open to it, right? I was still applying. I was happy for him. Most surprising thing, yeah? Me and him, we were really, really close. We had lunch together and I told him that, oh God, I'm really struggling with this whole job thingy and it's weighing me down. Went home and then he spoke to his girlfriend about it. And she gave me a referral in their company. Can to ask people for referral. Like right now, I give a lot of referrals to anyone who is searching for a job in Czech Republic. Whether I know you or I don't know you, if my company is hiring, trust me, I am giving you that referral because someone referred me and I got a job. So why not refer? So when you get blessed and you're in a company and you have the means to refer, make sure you refer people. Make sure you tell people about this opportunity. Make sure you submit their CV for them and just let God do the thing he wants to do for you. Let other people win as well. If people talk to them, they would literally try to help here as much as you go through things learn to manage yourself learn to manage your problems do not afflict your problems on other people because when you start doing that people start to withdraw from you and i on the other hand i was depressed yeah but 
it didn't stop me from being my nice happy self or making people smile around me or do not dwell on that depression for too long don't stay there for too long because the devil is going to try to keep you in that space longer longer than your expectations but make sure you go through it and come out if you want to go through it over and over again make sure you when you keep going through it back and forth make sure you always bring yourself out of that place because being depressed is one of the darkest places anyone can be in so and i would not want that for either of you so make sure you are ready and when you're coming please just be positive right things would work out in your favor but when it doesn't work out as fast as it you want it to be be patient with your step be patient with everything you're doing especially with yourself don't be too hard on yourself make sure you pray see prayer is everything your day-to-day -day life your your planning your finance your everything everything in general is prayer make sure you pray make sure you believe in god give room for for positivity learn to be happy within yourself in here has been nice it's been amazing this country is peaceful it's nice the opportunities here but you need to make the right move so apply as much as you can be grateful for what you have be 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 optimistic that's another thing be optimistic that something good is going to work out in your favor and allow god to do his bill for you right now i am working and i am at peace i am even very happy as you guys can see so believe in the process and believe in god as well so make sure you are all of these things and allow god to put you where he wants you to be and i am in that place now and i am killing it i am happy living in czech republic now and it's been good i love it here i love it here and i know when you get here you would also love it from now so expect a lot of videos from me in that space where i can actually manage work and school and then being a full-time content creator so don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure you share this video make sure you stick around i hope to see you in my next video bye bye besties